Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. We are live from Artisan Summit where I will be doing an acrylic pour demo. Um, so I unfortunately will not be looking at your questions on the screen, but I will be looking, well, listening for the questions that are here. So yes, good luck. I will try to get to your questions later. Okay, so first of all, who here has acrylic poured before? Barely. Okay, good, quite a few. Um, have any of you had difficulty with mixing paint? Okay, so first I'm going to show you really quick how I mix my paints because um, it's very simple. I definitely eyeball it, I'm not going to lie. And, oh, hold on. I left something over here. So this is called Floetrol. It is a paint conditioner. It's often used by house painters uh, for, they put it in the sprayer when they're spraying paint. So it's literally designed to make the paint flow. It's also good for making wood grain washes. Yeah. This is Jill. She's a professional <laughs> artist. She's like a total shill, so. Um, I, so. Got a, I got a pro tip for you about that stuff if okay. you wanna hear it. Mm -hmm. Sure. When you go to like Home Depot or Lowe's to get that, you reach in the back and get the one from the back yes. and open that sucker yeah. up and check it because people actually use some of that and then return the water it? and take it. Oh, yeah. Return it and they just take it, put it back on the shelf. And now you also you may need to strain it yeah. sometimes. Yes. Um, okay, so this is Deco Art metallic paint. It's just like a normal paint, it's not super thick, not super thin. So I basically, I'm gonna look at how much Floetrol I put in here. I'm gonna put about half as much of this. So once again, like I said, I eyeball it. So I'm gonna see how much that goes up. Okay, good. That looks like it's probably about right. And then I'm gonna stir this together very thoroughly. Now, if for some reason the color seems like it's a bit pale, then I might need to add a little more paint. In this case, it's exactly the color of the paint, so we're totally fine. I need water. Um, can someone run to the bathroom and grab me water? If anyone knows where it is. Yeah. <laughs> we got a cup. <laughs> yeah, distilled water in that bottle up there. Yeah, we could probably use that. Okay. We got it. All right. We got it. Thank you. Well, that's okay. Um, so let me show you the consistency here. So it's running pretty decently, but it is a bit thick. So we're, we just need like a tiny, tiny bit of water. It's probably about enough. And some people even use like an eyedropper to add it real slow. I'm not that slow. Um, and it runs a little better. So that's about the right consistency. And no matter what paint you're using, you're gonna just work to get it to that same consistency. It's about a three or four second drop. Never timed it, but you, you'll get the feel of it. You know what I mean? And if anyone wants to feel how that is when they're mixing it, go for it. And what I do is I mix them up in large batches in these bottles because I don't want to use a bazillion cups. And plus I like to be prepared. If I want to paint, I don't want to have to go mix paint right then. It's really annoying. I want to just go. And how long will that last in that bottle? Months. Okay. Yeah, because I always keep it airtight. Um, if you have paint in a cup, it can last for days. Now that also depends on what you're mixing your paint with though, because different things will react differently. Yeah. So I noticed that with the deco art pouring medium, it uh, tends to separate. Whereas the flow trial does not do that. The flow trial does not separate. So it kind of will depend on what you're mixing it with. I'm gonna mix up a few colors here. And some, I always mix these first because maybe you don't even need to add water, you know? Like this is a little bit of a thinner paint. And so I may add just like a dark drop or two of water, if even that. Let's see, get a good and mix up. I always mix in the flow trial first because that acts as a binder. If you mix in the water first, that can uh, break up the paint. Actually, I think that's fine. Putting the flow troll in there first will also keep the paint from sticking to the bottom of the cup. Well, that's true too. I didn't do that there though. <laughs> but yes, it would produce that effect. All right, let me grab, I'm not gonna mix all these colors. I'm just gonna grab this little box. Which I brought over here, conveniently. I know, right? 
And where so do you get this uh, little paint, these little paint colors? Ah, uh, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, yeah. Yeah, pretty much anywhere. So I'll use these two colors. Those acrylic paints? Yes. And then I'll use white and blue. I think we'll make a good color combo. All right, and then how you layer the paints in your cup are important. First, I'm gonna define a clean pour and a dirty pour. Those are two different things. Clean pour is where you put the paints individually on the canvas. A dirty pour is where you put your paints in a cup first, then on the canvas. Most pours that you see are probably dirty pours because that's the most common technique. White is generally considered the most dense. Out of all the brands that I know, it's the most dense in pigment. Therefore, it's the heaviest. And therefore, it generally goes on the bottom of the cup because when you flip the cup, it's gonna be the last thing out. Or if you do a tree ring or whatever you're doing, it's generally gonna be the last color out. And that white's probably a little bit thin, but we can work with it. Throw some blue in there. This is a nice dark metallic. And then uh, you'll learn eventually the sizes, the amount of paint you need for the sizes of your canvas. These are eight by 10 canvases. So you generally need about five ounces of paint. This is a nine ounce cup. I fill it about half full. Okay, so that's plenty. So what are your feelings about, I've heard that if you are gonna use five ounces of paint, use a five ounce cup. Because if you, or like if you're only using three ounces, of paint and using a five ounce cup, when you turn it over, it's already draining down I've the side I've never of the really cup. thought about that, personally. I always use the same cups because I like these cups. <laughs> so, unless I'm doing a bigger canvas, then I'll use a bigger cup because I gotta. But otherwise, I usually use these ones. These will last up to like an 11 by 14 canvas. And then I may need to go to a bigger cup or even use two. Uh, but you guys can see that kind of selling up in there already. Mm. Another quick note is that metallics, for whatever reason, generally tend to sell better. I have no idea why. I'm not like a scientist or anything. <coughs> the the of power wants to float. There you go. It's a, it's a lot about densities. Uh, metallics are often lighter. So we're going to do my favorite method here, which is a tree ring. Let me make sure that everybody in here can see it. Yay, hi Monica. Okay, good. And no silicone in here. Um, why I don't like to use silicone is because I don't know about the integrity of it. And then plus it just adds an extra step to cleaning. Plus I can get plenty of cells without it. I've found that if your mixture is the right consistency, you'll get cells no problem, no matter what you're using. People will try using all these different things because they're not getting cells. It's usually in the mixture. Like I pretty much never found it to be anything else. Plus it adds to the cost. Yeah, right? That too. We're gonna go ahead and do a tree ring. So remember the color we put in the first is gonna be what comes out last. And there's a little chunky in my blue there. That's okay. I roll with the punches. And with the... Small circles. Yep. Yeah, with the... Um, yeah, air bubbles create cells as well. So with the tree ring, the, te the trick is to go slow and that will get you those tighter rings. Now we do have a lump of paint over there that's gonna stop the flow in that section, but that's okay. Normally I have toothpicks to remove things like that. I don't have a toothpick. So we're gonna just do that. Boom, classic. <laughs> Wait a minute. And then we're just gonna slowly rotate in whatever directions we want. And I can sometimes use my hands to help it in a particular direction. Of course, it's liquid. So liquid will flow where previous liquid has flown. Nice. And there we go. Yeah, right? Gorgeous. Sweet. That's hey, really hey, cool. Baby. I like that. That's like one of my favorites ever. That's really cool. <laughs> Look at this color. This great color combo. Totally just made that up on the spot. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna, I'm what gonna are do it. Favorite co color combos. I tend to gravitate towards blues. So guys, I'm gonna shake this. 
but I like to do my close up. Whoop! Here we go. Getting your close up there. <laughs> um, yeah, generally I gravitate towards the cooler colors. Um, but I also love mixing like teal and turquoise with gold. I don't do silver very often, but um, and I do have an acrylic pouring book coming out where I put some of my favorite color combos in there. Ooh. Yeah, neons and black are really cool. People often say I use too much black. I generally tell them to yeah. beep. Yep. Um, <laughs> because they're my paintings and I'm gonna do what I like. But you know, I try to switch it up and do outside my comfort zone sometimes. Don't so I am now gonna ask for a volunteer to come do one. Ooh, me. Okay. <laughs> the Should loudest, most obnoxious do lady over here. Should I let somebody else do it? Do it, do it. All right, we can do a few. Okay. Um, so come on. And I'm gonna pull out my colors here. I do wanna do a four. I like those. And there's, oh, yeah. you can do any technique that you want. This is a really pretty, like, metallic turquoise okay. that will sell like crazy. So only use a little bit of it. Oh, use it wisely. It'll be like, Wah. Get up and look, and you can see how it's starting to separate and create a spill so it's all cells. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, we did resin last night. Yeah, we did resin Okay, this is a really pretty gold. Okay. Press rough. Right. He whipped in and out. Good, oh, Here's good, black. Okay. And I don't have red, but I do have pink or yellow. That'll work, people work. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Can okay, you see so. it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And here are some gloves. Good luck. Right. <laughs> Someone has a bag of Cheetos. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that bag of Cheetos. I'm hungry. <laughs> I was like, where? <laughs> Crunchies, <laughs> my favorite. Yep. <laughs> I carry a bag everywhere. That's a lot of gold. Yeah, I like lots of gold. Okay, good. <laughs> so just remember, you're only filling up about halfway. Halfway, okay. Yeah, for that canvas size. Right. Will push through the other paint colors and help create cells. Uh, I'm going to look at any questions I can. Yeah, we're in Vegas for anyone who's just tuning into the live. And uh, don't forget to thumbs up, guys. We are at Artisan Summit, learning the business of art. And how has the summit been, everybody? Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Can you use too many colors? Um, no. I've done acrylic pour with 101 colors. Wow. <laughs> wow. That took a really long time to mix it. So then you just, um, uh, how long do you set, leave it set before you pour it? You might want to get that little. Uh, it doesn't particularly matter. You can pour it right away. If I do a flip cup, I usually will let it sit for a minute just to settle. But if you're just pouring it, you just go ahead and pour. Yeah, here comes the Ready. gold. It's gonna be some big rings. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then just oops, oops. Okay. keep going. And also, guys, I do this to keep my paint for later. Yeah. And I reuse it. Now remember, metallics tend to sell a lot, so that may go crazy. And don't go off oh, in oh, one direction too, too far, far okay. or you'll get run out of paint. Yeah. Yeah. I like how that feature that they Yeah. That's really cool colors. I've seen, seen people do a lot, spend a lot of time going really slow to widen it out. You can. Yeah, that's just a personal preference. But that's, so you kind of went a little fast, but you kept your ring where she went to one side and kind of lost that ring. Yeah. yeah she also poured hers a lot faster in general. 
Oh, so the the slower you pour on, on the yeah. paint, <laughs> the more on the yeah, the more tight your rings will be. It's still pretty cool. Oh, it is oh, yeah. really cool. Yeah. yeah. Leave it alone for fixes too much. <laughs> so then I generally just uh, well, we could take a little bit here and just cover. Okay. And I'll just blend it right in. <laughs> yeah. That's really pretty. Like so, gross. yeah. <laughs> you can email me your address and I'll get this shipped to you somehow. Oh, okay. I don't know how, but <laughs> we'll figure that out later. Okay, good. And let's do, let's do this. Um, any questions for the moment? Anybody? Yes? No? Well, okay, you, good. Uh, you mixed the first batch. She didn't mix. Correct. Uh, that can affect yeah, the cells. Yeah. yeah, because because uh, you're stirring and that's creating cells right there. However, I did also shake the bottles. Right. Um, so that would create cells as well. You know, so it's it's a little bit of a crapshoot sometimes yeah, okay. with the cells. Okay. Yeah. see people put heat on it, torch it, and that helps bring up the cells more? Sometimes. Yeah, I stopped torching a while ago because I just, once again, didn't really feel like I needed it. And sometimes it can get you these little pinholes that you don't want. So sometimes it can kind of ruin the painting and then you're like, ah, why did I torch it? It was amazing. You know, so just depends. How long does it take that one to dry? A couple days. A okay. couple days, yeah. You have a row of hearts in your painting. Yeah, I do. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh that is awesome. Epic. <laughs> okay, guys. Everybody on the live stream, I am going to sign off for tonight and then we're going to probably play here a little bit more. I'm very sorry that you guys aren't here. I hope you guys enjoyed this demo. It takes about two days to dry. Love y'all and I will